Sick. All right, let's just uh, do a new expedition, I guess. I don't know what that means, but let's do it. Wake up! Grab bush, put a little makeup. No eating a pickle is a no-brainer. I need to throw up more. <laughs> Look around, move. Ah. Whoa! Oh my god, it scared me. Roast marshmallow, absolutely. Move stick. Moves, moves, move stick. Am I roasting? <laughs> Is it roasting? Extend. My hand. Oh, God! Eat it! This pencil have a bone to pickle with you. Get on out, all of you. All of you are fired. What happens if I fully burn a uh, marshmallow? What happens? <gasps> it's gone. <laughs> ah, that is science, in fact. No, I was trying to make it burnt, but not diminished. Eat the burnt one. Okay, cool. Yay. Did you miss pickle? You missed pickle part one. Uh, but I could, in fact, eat the rest of this pickle. Uh, it's not impossible. There's our pilot back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program and suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. I don't know. Where, I don't know where we're going. This is just a s'more stream. <laughs> s'more. So much more delicious than other things. No names. Uh, all systems go, I guess. I'm glad you're excited, but remember, if you wreck the ship, I'm not building you a new one. I'm not made of lightweight, recentry grade al al aluminum, aluminum alloys, you know. Anyway, you need to get the launch cards from the from Horn Fills at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. My goodbyes or whatever. Is there any cool stuff to pick up? Jump, hold and release. Plus my subs need me. <gasps> Kelsey! <laughs> oh my god, yo, what's up? Thank you for five gifted subs. <laughs> hey, Kels, how's it going? How you living? Oh my god, I was supposed to drop, but I didn't. Oh, it's day? Is it day? <laughs> 10 left. Yeah, I was gonna say, of course you're like supporting the pickle. <laughs> With pickle phobia. Yo, it is like not great. It is like, it's a spicy pickle. So it is more than just a pickle. It is a pickle with a punch. It is a pickle with power. It is a pickle with a bone to pickle. I can't. It was the only one that they had at the store this morning. Oh, the, pick, the pickle. <laughs> the jump mechanic goes wild. Yeah, so, um. Is that right? 10 more subs? No. Right? Is that math? Eight. Nine. 10? Nine to 10 more. It's something like that. I can't math right now. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Launch codes! I can't jump this high. I am only an alien. What is the actual sub count? Um, I made a list. We are plus nine. Um, well, it's 382 plus nine. Think about that for a second. If you do the math correctly, you win. 
You said at eight. I know, I maybe mis miscounted. It's at nine. It's at nine. Hello? Hey, it's you! Slate said you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you gonna go into space, aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. I hear you and Slate beefed up the model ship. Can I see? Yeah, so nine. It's nine. Yeah, we recalibrated the controls and installed better thrusters. Want to give it a test drive? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. Try to land on one of the geyser pools. Show me what you've got. How would I do that? Fly ship. <laughs> the count was a lie. Is the pickle a lie? I wish. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Land in a geyser? Where are the geysers? Oh, <laughs> I'm not doing a good job steering this. <laughs> How do I move it? Get up! Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> the pickle was just Adobe After Effects. <laughs> um, okay, up and down thrust horizontal thrust hi peek -pee, what's up get in there wait i missed you're lying i almost crashed that into a person no <laughs> that is a thickle pickle i know did I get in? Does that count? Okay, let's go up. Oh wait, it went to the floor! <laughs> Why is this an impossible task? I'm bad at video games. <laughs> I got it! Yay! Pro gamer. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I did it. I did it, Mika. Wow, that was just like the time the external fuel tanks exploded on re-entry. <laughs> You'll be okay with like the big one, right? I. How dare you? I made it in there. Wow, rude, wow, rude. Hello. Hey, yo, hatchling. I hear you're le leaving. I can't read today, I'm sorry. I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let's you, me, and Gossin, Gossin open up a bottle of the good stuff. Um, this is the realest thing. This is related to our pickles. The good stuff is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. <laughs> Me v pickle. An iron stomach is the mark of a true hearthy in my friend. <laughs> Thank you. Somebody appreciates what I'm doing here. Our hardy hunter gatherer lifestyle stems from trial and error, by which I mean our ancestors survived eating a lot of bad things. You don't say. You don't say. Tile. You're actually blasting off again. They really, um, they really don't explode as often anymore. All I know is between the space program and Mika's model rockets, things seem to burn to the ground around here more than they used to. You only see this game here and there. Same. Same. I don't really know what we're doing exactly. The projector is linked to our sky shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Earth. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. Rear view snapshot. Cute! Very cute. Am I crouching or am I short? <gasps> uh, what is that? <laughs> 
I think I'm just short. Aody, thank you for redeeming Hydrate. Get this flavor out of my mouth. Not knowing anything is the best way to play it. Oh, perfect! In game and real life, I'm short. <laughs> Both. So it's launch day, huh? How's it gonna miss ya? Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it, and the platform that the ship's launch room is getting old. Isn't it about time you built a new, less flammable one? The big tree in the village would be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out in the space program, just say the word. The launch pad is flammable? Am I fully blocking the subtitles, by the way? Arnor, thank you for redeeming posture check. Thank you. I got it. Ha! You didn't realize that? Don't worry, it's held up for all the launches so far. It'll definitely be fine for yours. Probably. You can see the text. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, cute! Hello there, space cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Oh yeah, you can see it. Perfect. Nailed it. Um, the only thing I'm blocking are button prompts. Okay, perfect. Where's the observatory? It's questions like that what make us worried about you going up in space on your own, you know. Wow. The observatory is up the path behind the waterfall. There are a couple of signs making, marking the way, but really you just gotta keep going up and hook a right when you get to the zero-g cave. I will figure it out. I'm assuming I can't go into people's houses. Whoa, where am I? Can I jump in the geyser? Good game. What are we gonna play next? <laughs> no. <laughs> There's three games in one slumathon. Oh my! Wow. <laughs> that really is a great game. Okay, good morning. That's our pilot. <laughs> Marshmallow. Eat it. Okay, cool. Glad that happened. Time to go. Wait, did I... <laughs> Oh yeah, I need the codes. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I was just living my best life. You you regret um a hundred percent of the chances you don't take. Wait, Gretzky, Michael Scott. I really wanna see it. Really bad. Hey, you wanna try my model ship? It's just like the real thing. Let's try this again. Okay. Okay. I was just, I was just practicing. Ah! <laughs> 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 Give me a moment. There we go. Woohoo! That 
that's what my body did. Whoa. <laughs> good night, Selena. Have a good one. That's what my body did too. <laughs> okay, great. Bye. <laughs> wow, what a good game. All right. Let's try going in somewhere new now. I feel, I feel like I probably have to still say hi to all the same characters, just so that they know I've spoken to them. Tell me about the Traveler's instruments. Oh, sure, I made all their instruments, you know. Let me see, there's shirts, drums, Rybeck's banjo, and Gabbro's flute. And Feldsburg's harmonica, of course, though Feldsburg's been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Anyway, you know music in space. That'll be one of our space programs to other travelers. If you feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. Alright, nobody saw my murder, right? Um, it's flammable. Uh, it's flammable! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe somebody needs a new porch or something. Okay. I'm missing. I'm not. I've talked to all the kids. Forward snapshot. Backward snapshot. Yo, those are different snapshots than the first time. <laughs> first try. First try. Everything's fine here. Nothing went wrong. Mm. Oh. Any new dirt? I'm hoping to teach Esker to tap trees next time they return from the Adder Rock. If they'll bring me to the Lunar Sap, I can attempt Moonwine! Oh, cute! Alright, we're not gonna go to the geysers. That's danger. That's danger zone. <laughs> the bad end. <laughs> Aww, cute! Hello, astronaut. If it isn't my favorite troublemaker. We wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be it. Sure. Well, okay, here are the rules. Galena and me will hide with the radios and you'll use your signal scope to find us. Last to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. I don't know what a signal scope is. Whip. Frequency, hide and seek. Whoa. There you are. about it. <laughs> I'm all wet. How did it? Okay. Oh, I got hurt. Oh, he found me, but my heading spot was super good. Don't forget, you have to find both of us. Okay. Here? I don't see anybody. Oh. I found you and I didn't die. What's up? <laughs> I won. 
I'm happy. Thanks for playing with us. Yay! I did it, and I lived. So jokes in all of you who thought it wasn't gonna happen. I did it. I did it. I just also swam. No shame in that. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme. Singing helps me pass the time. You're leaving the crater. Guess I'll be a little busier without you around to lend a hand. That big water planet, Giant's Deep? That's where I go. Why? One time after the rest of the village had left to sleep and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, Gabro told me about their first trip to Giant's Deep. They handed their ship so wait easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down on account of how murky the water was. I guess pretty dark. We saw that. <laughs> Camera wants to see what lay behind beneath the surface. They decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down, but suddenly Camera couldn't go any further. Yeah, I will. I was just pausing dramatically. As though exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabro go any deeper. It held Gabro back, almost as if it were trying to protect them from something. And then, in the terrible darkness, Gabro saw it. The tentacle of some hideous beast! Ah! I mean, that's what Gabro said anyway. Whatever it was, it freaked Gabro out pretty good. Everyone wants to hear new stories at the village campfire, you know. Make sure you bring some back with you. Cute! I'm antagonistical towards the lovely aliens. I don't know what you're talking about. They're my friends. I was just also... Uh, I just like to keep them on their toes. It's called charisma. Okay. <laughs> you know me. Charismatic up the ass. Yep. Hi, astronaut. Sure. <laughs> Hi, astronaut. You know the patch of ghost matter inside the fence? Ghost and said it used to be bigger than they were hatchling because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes a super long time to go away. I hope there's still ghost matter in the village and I'm a grown up. Ghost matter is awesome. I agree. Ghost matter is super cool. It'll burn the heck out of you. Yeah! I heard touching it hurts so bad, it feels like your whole hand's on fire. I changed when I drank that pickle juice. <laughs> Try not to walk into any in, in space, okay? It sounds bad and painful. I feel like I'm not allowed to touch it now that we've said that. Danger! Inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter, a strange and dangerous substance that's invisible to the naked eye. The good news is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. I kind of want to jump into it, but I know then I'll have to start over. <laughs> Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. I want to jump in there so badly. Oh! You know what? I'm gonna look this way first. This dream is at peace until the pickle juice is drunk. <laughs> Just like the opening of, um, of Avatar The Last Airbender. Pickles. Pickle juice. Onions. <laughs> Everything was peaceful until they all attacked. <laughs> um, hello, astronaut. This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. Any good sounds from space today? There are. My signal scope is set to the Outer Wilds Ventures frequency, so I'm listening to the Traveler's music. Last night I heard Rebix banjo coming from Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets, too. It depends on what time of day or night it is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. Equip. I want to listen to me. Wow, directly at the sun. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa. Whoa, I 
I saw a whole guy thing. That's so fucking cool. What else is on the planet? This is a mushroom planet, my favorite. This is cool, what the heck? Okay, y'all were right. This is it. Sigma scopes are dope. That's so sick. Anything else? That's awesome. All right. Shall we check this out? What's this then? I saw smoke coming from Young Bark Crater up north and figured I should go check it out. You can use the scout launcher, just please don't break it while I'm gone. That seems ominous. That seems like I can very well break it. South, Quantum Grove Crater. Northwest Geyser Mountains. Geyser Mountains? I can never say that right. North Young Bark Crater. And. Oh, East Nomai Ruins. I'm gonna forget all of that. Just because I'm bad at directions. I'm sure I'll figure it out by landmark. Pickle Planet, here we come. Pass. Pass. Aim Launcher. Launch Scout. Launch Scout into the ghost stuff. Oh, that's cool too. Look at that planet. Whoa, and you can take pictures as it's like doing stuff. That's sick. I could not find the stairs. Let's go to the zero G cave. What's that? Hey, come say hi to your old flight coach before your launch. I got zero G training set up if you want a refresher. I do. What up? Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nervous getting the better of you? Are you kidding? I'm a natural. <laughs> she says, having died already. Is that so? Funny, I seem to recall the first time you strapped on a jetpack. We had to come fish you out of the crater near the South Pole. So listen, there's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken <laughs> mining equipment. Set up down in the zero G cave and it needed repairs. I have a burp right here. A pickle burp. Okay. It's passed. You missed the pickle this time, so you have to catch the VOD. I mean, what did we say? If we hit... I forgot already the math. Seven subs? If we have if we get seven more subs, I'll finish the pickle right now. If you're looking for a little last minute zero G practice, head down the lift and into the cave. Or don't, so long as you're confident you can make ship repairs in space. Um one repaired satellite coming up. Cool. Get to it and try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch. No promises. Is there a menu to this game to keep track of stuff or do you just kind of do it? I haven't been able to find a menu other than that. So I guess you just uh, do stuff and see whatever it takes you. What time is it? It's 1.30 already? My ship computer will keep track. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, your day's coming down. That's so great. Fantastic. Ooh. Whoa. I have to eat lunch pretty soon. I had leftover pizza from yesterday, so it's very easy to get. But now that I realize what time it is, I should probably eat. Suit up! Whoa! The down 
up thrust. Here we go. Oh, I'm falling too quickly. I'm falling too quickly. Horizontal thrust. Roll. I'm trying to figure out how to use the mechanic. Let's see. Press to lock on. Okay. Match velocity. Now what? Um, but I didn't repair it. Match velocity. Horizontal thrust is this. No. This. So I'm guessing... down. What am I hitting right now? Oh my god. I need to fix. I think I want to go in here. Get me in there. Get me in the hole. Plus my subs need me. Oh my god, fix! <laughs> thank you for gifting five subs thank you so much oh my god hold on let me like try to get in here and then I can I don't know how to do it in in oh no come back up match velocity this is not a repair how the heck do you repair oh like this like this. Repair. Repair. We go, we go like forward a little bit like that. Oh my God. I did it! Two to go. I'm gonna have pickle for lunch. <laughs> Oh, fish, that's so sweet. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to put your name on an ornament because that's what we're doing for for five gifted subs. So I will do that as well once we have a second. I need to do fish. I need to do kels. Um, and I did brie already, so. Um, but yeah, two more, two more subs and I eat the pickle. Let's <laughs> how dare you. Um, thank you, though. I can't believe we're about to hit 400 subs. That's fucking bonkers. I, regardless of pickle, regardless of the pickle situation, 400 subs is the most subs I've, that have ever existed on this channel. In my whole life of this channel. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That looks broken. This looks like a broken thing. Here. Okay, so we want to go over there. Uh, repair. Oh my god. I need you to stay still. Yeah! I'm such a good astronaut. Hi, Oddball. Welcome on in. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm fixing a s satellite. And not hitting anything except for on purpose. So, <laughs> all right, that's what I want, that's what I want, that's what I want, that's what I want. I think match velocity just like slows me down. I'm still not quite close enough to repair it. Hold on a second, there we go. There we go. I'm learning. Yay! I did it! <laughs> Love that for me. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. I feel pretty good about it. Now I know how to do it. So I do actually feel really good about this. <laughs> I, now that it's done, I'm like, wow, I'm great at being in space. Hold on. I said I'm great at being in space. Thank you. 
I said I'm great at being in space. Great at it. Flawless. Fuel level critical? I'm great at being in space. Where's the exit? Roll and hold. What? Roll L1 and hold. What? What? Roll is L1 and this. Okay. Oh my god. Get me out. I need to get, I need to fuel up. This looks like, this looks like, oh my God. <laughs> I made it, I made it. I think, isn't there an elevator to deal with the suit thing? How do I leave? Up there? Oh, I'm good at this. <laughs> What's this? Oh, I did it. I made 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 it. <laughs> I'm good at this. <laughs> I can't wait to tell all my friends that I was good at space. They will never believe it. <laughs> So good at it. <laughs> when I get up here, I'll make the ornaments. <laughs> Yay! Let's check in and be like, yo, we did the thing. Nicely done! Of course, it'll be a little more stressful. Great. When you're hurling through space, but just remember you're trading and try not to hit anything big. I can see you're itching to get out this rock, so go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck out there, and hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that I put so much time into training, you got it? Oh, I made it. I made it. Observatory is that way. Okay, let's make some ornaments really quick first, though. <laughs> All right, let's go to the observatory. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. It's this way. Uh, 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 uh. I have the Evangelion song stuck in my head because we heard it like twice. <laughs> Why does... The water looked like textures. Only two subs for more pickle. <laughs> Thank you, Draxy. It's true. Um, I would prefer to eat it before I eat lunch, before I eat pizza, so that I don't have to ruin a good thing. <laughs> Hornfell's, oh, it's all of them. That's the whole expedition. Cute. Outer Wilds Ventures founding members. Clockwise from top left, Hornfell's, Goss, and Slate, and Feldspar. Plus my subs need me. <laughs> You're like, I came here for the pickle. <laughs> Plus my subs me. Oh my god, both of you, you got it. Crushed it, Kels and Oddball, thank you for the two gifted. It's pickle time. I'm so excited or something. <laughs> something like that. Oh my gosh, Oddball. I'm writing down all the subs so I can thank you all later. Um, that's what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. That full ass pickle. I'm so excited. Thank you for 400 gifts or 400 subs, not gift subs. Here, let's, uh, why don't you all look at the outdoors and I'll eat this pickle. Wait, do you want to do full screen? Full screen pickle? Where was I? 
Outer Wilds Ventures, Timberheart's first and only space program was founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Oh my gosh, thank you for the hype train. I didn't even notice we had a hype train. <laughs> I was distracted a little bit. Feldspar was the first to Hearthia to be initially in intentionally launched into space. They completed the first orbit around Timberheart and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon, the Adel Rock. <laughs> Ooh, what emo did you all get for your for your tier three? Hello? Sweet. Big thanks to these additional founding members of Outer Wilds Ventures, without whom we would never have gotten off the ground. Matthew, Ben, Quirty the Pie. Are these some um, like uh Kickstarter type names? I missed your game suggestion. Oh my god, I didn't even notice! You didn't know torturing streamers was so much fun. <laughs> Let me go back and chat. I must have gotten distracted by gift subs and pickles. Um, Placid Plastic Duck Simulator? What the fuck is that? What is that? Is that real or did you invent that? <laughs> It's a hentai game? Oh my god, like a rogue? How do I get out of this now? Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna show up as Outer Wilds clips. They did say something about eating rancid food, so. Hey, hey, it was my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the translator tools inaugural flight, too. I'm so excited, it's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any know my text you want anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? <laughs> oh, jeez, do not break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous, and I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? I'm excited. Good, you've only been waiting for this day since we were hatchlings. I can't wait to see all your training pay off. So, what's the dirt? You here to see new know my statue? Uh, of course. I knew you'd want to see it before you had off. Hornfield's just finished prepping it for display today. Amazing. It's a simulator of a pool where you can drop plastic ducks in it. Oh my god. That sounds... It's zen? Okay, then I guess it sounds cute. Alright. Makes me wish we could see what a real live Nome looks like, but I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out! Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the full, first fully intact statue I've ever found, you know. And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Aw, oh, jeez, I got a little carried away there. Go on, you have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? I need the launch codes. I guess I'll just ask some questions. Better to get some world building. It's literally the whole game you drop ducks and let them do their thing. Oh, wait, there's a Godzilla! Okay, I'm in. You've convinced me. Where did this statue come from? From Giant's Deep. Gabriel fished it out of the oceans and brought it back here for study. Hornfels doesn't know much about it yet, just that it's crazy old and super tough. I wonder why the Nomai carved it. Apparently, Gabriel went back to Giant's Deep to learn more about the statue. Maybe they'll find some answers there. Where can I find Gabriel? Oh, I, I already know that, don't I? Gabriel said they were going back to Giant's Deep to wherever they found that Nomai statue. One of the- oh, I thought we talked to them. Never mind. You remember Gabriel plays a flute, right? Like, all the time? I bet your signal scope can find them easily. If you do see Gabriel, say hi for me. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Think I'll discover anything cool in space? Hey, you never know. Maybe you'll be the one to solve the mysteries of the Nomai. Or maybe you'll discover a new kind of rock or something. But honestly, as long as they don't end up naming new safety equipment after you, I'm sure you'll have done a great job. Um, I thought I was here for launch codes, but it's okay. I'll figure it out. Ooh, that's cool. This remarkably intact statue is carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although there are artif artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where the species came from or what happened to them. This is so cool. Whoa, where am I? Goat boy, we love, we stan. The, this piece of know my writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. 
Although this text is linear, Nomai text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Oh, shit. Oh. We're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she says collaborating the device won't take long. Wait, there's more. Wait, there's more. Fortunately, the Adorok's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. This as well? How do I use the translator? Does that not work here? Okay. I'm sure that's fine. Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorated pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the Nomai born in our solar system, or were they born among other stars and planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further Xenoarchaeological Expeditions. <laughs> Whoa! What you see here are parts of the Nomai skeleton! Y'all, this looks like some dune shit. We could tell from their skulls that they possessed antlers, and quite unusually, only three eyes. Only. <laughs> the Nomai body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, show us that Herthians couldn't have descended from Nomayan, no, no, yeah, Nomayan ancestors. It's not clear where the Nomai originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. This is super cool, actually. The Nomai technology brought back from space from by our astronauts has been a great boon to Outer Wilds ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the Little Scout now boasts a warped retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost to the depths of space. Okay. This crystal was taken from a Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion as it's most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Excuse me, what do you mean, try it out? What does that mean? Whoa. Whoa. I'm walking on the wall. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Copy that. <laughs> this anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. This one's cute. It looks like a Final Fantasy version of an anglerfish. I walk in here. I'm high on pickle juice. That's kind of true. Well, on the pickle. We haven't done the juice. Oh my god. I... Alright. Oh, I already... Okay. It's written twice. Got it. If a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Church's observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. Cool. As the star's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The star has become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. Is that... <clears throat> you try to tell me this point... future side of our next exhibit. If you've enjoyed your time with Outer Wilds, please consider supporting our planned museum expansion. Our quest to explore the furthest reaches of our solar system wouldn't be possible without generous visitors like you. We thank you profusely for your support and we hope to see you again soon. What dis? Watch closely, the balls move on their own. Oh shit, look at them! The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think causes the spooky motion, ghosts? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the Adel Rock's gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. 
This is educational, I know, and it's very, very cute and accessible, so I really enjoy this. All right, let's go upstairs then. I still don't really know what this game it is, but it's very cute. Hornfield's observations. This is incredible. At first I thought the points of light in this image were stars, but they're not. They're galaxies. And this image covers just a tiny patch of the whole sky, which means the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined. I think I need to sit down. Girl, same. Girl, relatable. Hello. There you are. I just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get you to get our newest astronaut off the ground. Why is everything made of wood? Good question. I don't know. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Know My Translator tool. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Know My. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? Um, I wanna go somewhere no one's gone before. Uh, Poogle burps. I like it. You'll have plenty of options to choose from. No one's ever landed on the interloper before, you know? Perhaps you'll be the first. Dude, I couldn't even land into a water geyser like 10 feet ahead of me. So I I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> I must say, should you choose to go to Dark Bramble, be very careful. No one's explored there before either for what you'll find there. Well, for what you'll find are excellent reasons. Well then, looks like that's all that's left to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for launch. I'm ready to die in space. I'm not one for superstition, but isn't that kind of unlucky to say before a launch? So far, I've already died, so. At any rate, here are the launch codes. Try not to worry too much. Our ships are every bit as safe as Slate could be persuaded to make them. Best of luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Launch codes, Morse codes. I, so the only thing I know about this game is basically this area. Um, and not like, ooh, not like super well or anything. It's just that when I played it um, at, at Annapurna, when they were like developing, um, there was just this kind of area and they didn't really have like a goal. They just were like, walk around. And so I didn't really know what this game was. So I leave the planet? I didn't know that. The strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabbro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it's observed, whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. Go on. This this changes shape or that thing that doesn't isn't here i don't know i don't know <laughs> um i came in by where'd i come in over here the rock moved oh it was there before Oh! Oh! Oh, fuck. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh. oh my god! Oh! oh my god. Bye. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! What? I'm sorry, what? Did you want to tell me that one more time? This is nothing new. What? 
bruh. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> we need to leave this planet right now. <laughs> it changes location when you aren't looking. Oh my god, the spooky Watson rock. I didn't know. Phil, it's alright, you got this. You're doing good things. Hi, butts. You better not have eaten any of that tree. I wasn't watching. But says he loves you guys. <laughs> Butts eats the whole tree at 500. Hell no. Hell no. This is a horror game. <laughs> Alrighty. Ooh, I, I didn't end up needing my pizza because I ate the pickle. He did say it. He told me himself. With his own words. Oh my god. Hey, hey, did you get a look at that Nomai statue? Uh, yeah. The statue looked at me and opened its eyes. Whoa, whoa. The statue is doing what? So its eyes opened and you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around? Like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch? Like, medically speaking? No, the statue was weird. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did, but why? Hornfields tried everything to get the statue's eyes to open, and nothing like this ever happened to them. I don't think you're going to get any answers from the museum statue, but Gabbard said they were going back to Giant's Deep. Don't know which island they're on, though. Maybe they'd be able to tell you more? On the other hand, Gabbro is, you know, Gabbro, so maybe you'd be better off searching for more info on your own. Jeez, now I'm really jealous you're going into space. Hey, see if you can use our translator tool to find out more about the statue, okay? Good luck and safe flying. Yeah, what is this game? <laughs> don't, that's a rhetorical question. But I don't know what's happening. I'm just along for the ride. Like, I'm following, but at the same time, I've, I have no prediction of what's going down. Hello, astronaut. Are you going into space? Are you going into space and never coming back like Feldspar did? What? <laughs> uh, yeah, um, Hornfield said Feldspar went away into space and didn't come back. Hornfield says Feldspar was the best pilot ever, but no one, what happened. No one knows what happened to them. Um, that's not something I want to think about right now. But if Feldspar disappeared, you might disappear too, right? You're not as good as Feldspar, so you should be really careful not to get lost. Asshole. <laughs> Puzzle platformers? I do. However, so far my platforming skills in this have not been incredible. So we'll find out. Uh, I mean, I could just put the launch codes in, right? Looks like you're ready for takeoff. The excitement of a launch is fun and all, but I can't wait to get back to working on the new ship. We're working on fixing the autopilot's avoidance system for this one. Uh, sorry. Wait, isn't the thing over here? Yeah, it is. <gasps> Yikes! Yikes! It's a safety inspector's nightmare. <laughs> Tarpa's a little shit. <laughs> Correct. Yo, I'm scared. Am I gonna die in space? Probably! <laughs> Whoa! Look at my ship! Whoa. Oh, it's that crystal that makes me go all over the place. Time for space. <laughs> you got this. Do I got this? Uh, rumor mode? What the heck is rumor mode? Oh. View entry. The one and only Hearthian village, as well as the main source of explosions on this planet. The Nomai statue in the observatory opened its eyes and looked at me. I saw strange glowing lights and my own memories flashed before my eyes. Okay. Hello? 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 Um... I wanted to read the other thing. Here we go. A cave at the very center of Timber Hearth used by Outer Wilds Ventures to train new astronauts. I successfully repaired a satellite. Ooh. 
lunar ruins. The Nomai text in the observatory talks about calibrating some sort of device on the Adelrog. Hal says Gabra went back to Giant's Deep to try to learn more about the Nomai statue. Okay, got it. I don't know what that means. I want where I want to go. But I guess the world universe is my oyster. Let me look around my ship before I buckle up. Oh, I don't really need to do that yet. I'm not there. I haven't arrived. What's all this? Whatever. A spaceship is made of wood. Ah, uh, is this safe? Hold for liftoff. Liftoff landing camera. Unbuckle view map. Uh, <laughs> where am I trying to go? Giants Deep? Maybe? I don't know. It's aesthetic choice. Got it. Okay. Lift off. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna die out here. Space. Oh hey, there's where I want to go. That's where I want to go. Right there. Change frequency. Hide and seek. Out of Wild Adventures. Got it. So I would like to go to here, please. I can engage autopilot. I'm going to try not to. Just to see what I can do. It was the 70s. Wood paneled spaceships. Just like in Barbarella. I thought the hourglass twins said the whole ass twins. Ah, uh, I'm ripping off my game, I see. Good, good. What did I say yesterday about ass? <laughs> I forgot. Match velocity. Um, how do I land? How do I get close? I did not mean to do that. Wait, I'm not there yet. Flight trajectory, I want to go right there. Acceler accelerating towards descent. <laughs> I know I forgot, but it was really funny. I forgot even what we were talking about yesterday. Uh, oh, I think it was when we were talking about when we were doing our frames and stuff. Giants deep. Uh, how do I land? Landing mode. <laughs> Cockpit view, up and down thrust, horizontal thrust. How am I supposed to land? Was I supposed to know how to land that? I talk about ass a lot. You're right. No, no tra ass dom. <laughs> what the heck? They didn't tell me how to land the ship. It just threw me down. I've arrived. <laughs> Exit ship to repair. Autopilot damage. Cockpit damage. Camera damage. Gear damaged. That's not fair. No one told me how to land this shit. Well, I guess let's unbuckle. <laughs> Landed better than Anakin. You know, it's the little things. I feel like this is not fair. This game didn't tell me any instructions. They were just like, have fun. Bye. Even that, it just threw me into unsafe terrain. What am I supposed to do about that? 
Equip scout launcher, equip signal scope, flashlight, map. How is this helpful to me? Yeah. I don't know how to play this game. I have a jetpack. How do I use that? Hold, fire jetpack booster. I can't, what, how do I use it? I can't go very far. How do, how do I play this game? Did I skip the tutorial? There was a tutorial? What are you talking about? Ghost matter detected nearby. Must be higher gravity. I didn't think there was a tutorial. There was just like, walk around. My f ship is about to explode. Um, well. Hi, I need your help. <laughs> um... <laughs> Nice, it's you. Good to see you made it here in one piece, sort of. The first set of launch is a doozy, isn't it? So hey, don't laugh, but I think I might have had some spiritual experience with a rock shaped like a face. <gasps> Me too! You're saying the statue I brought to the museum started glowing at you? Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, bro! One minute I'm st <coughs> <coughs> Choking on <that> pickle. <coughs> That pickle fucked me up. <laughs> One minute I'm standing on an island looking at a no, my skulls are on the beach. Next thing I know, it's looking back at me glowing. It replaces everything I've just done, like it's been watching me through my own eyes, you know? And then suddenly it stops and everything's normal again. It didn't seem bad, just weird. Were we the only ones who saw that happen? I tried radioing Hornfields and asking them about it, but they told me I might just have nodded out out here and gotten confused. Then we talked about dreams until Hornfields told me to go refill my oxygen tank before I talked myself to death. So that's what's new with me, but hey, this is your first solo voyage. Let's talk about you, you know? What are you doing out here? Well, what are any of us doing here, really? No, I'm just kidding. I'm out here exploring. Excuse me? Oh my god. I was in the middle of a conversation. Where am I going? I was talking to somebody. Excuse me? What am I playing? <laughs> in the middle of a conversation. Whoa! What's this situation? Did I die? Hey, you ready to get this thing off the ground? It ships all fueled and ready to go. Did I die? Whoa, bad dream or something? 
He is still like half asleep, but that's a negative on being deceased. Are you sure? I know it's tradition to sleep out under the stars the night before a launch, but if you ask me, it makes you all a bit jumpy. Well, now that I know I'm just living in a dream, <laughs> I'm going to die as many times as possible. I'm just going to wake up tomorrow. I'm Groundhog Daying it. And everybody knows in Groundhog Day, sometimes you just got to let yourself, like, try things, and then you'll just wake up tomorrow. <laughs> Game over, bad end. <laughs> I did die before, but it was it was based off of not this information. Okay. All right, before I just, I could just go fly. But, do you have anything new to say to me? Hey, it's you. I want to practice with the pro before I leave. Oh, you're just saying that, but if you really want to practice with me, I guess I could help you out a little. Try to land on a gate geyser pool. I'm telling you, I don't know how to new do this. I don't know all these navigators. Explore, learn, repeat until you solve the mystery of the solar... This might take a while. <laughs> oh my god. The mysteries of Spache. Interesting. I have to go see if the statue did anything. Observatory. What if? I'm scared. I'm haunted. <laughs> Spirit to try. <laughs> Uh, the actual ship is easier to fly than the model because it's not for third person. That's true, but I don't understand how to do stuff yet. It's like there's a lot of controls and also zero controls, so I don't really know how it works yet. Or what it, like, or it'll tell me controls, but I don't really know what it means. But I guess that's the whole point, right? Is that you're trying a bunch of stuff and getting used to it as you go. Oh my god, the statue's facing me again. Bruh. Hey, look, the statue opened its eyes. Weird. Bet you'd wish you'd seen that happen, huh? <laughs> I'm not even a little closer to understanding what's going on with this statue. Was there something you needed? Where are the other travelers? Um, Churn is on the Hourglass Twins. Rybeck is on Brittle Hollow. Gabro's on Giant Steep. And Feldspar, obviously, but of course we don't know where they are or if they're even still alive. Feldspar has been lost for a very long time, I'm afraid. Ooh, it's time for a stretch break. Let's stretch while we, uh, space. Oh my god, I stood up and really needed a stretch, actually. Oh, that's perfect. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Okay, let us stretch. Tell me about Feldspar. Feldspar was one of the four founding members of Outer Wilds, along with our flight coach, Gosen, Slate the Engineer, and me. As ground control and later the museum curator, I didn't work with Feldspar as closely as Slate and Gosen did. I can tell you Feldspar was absolutely fearless, though. Nothing scared them. Test piloted everything Slate ever built. It's a wonder Feldspar lived to see space, frankly, but they did. Flew all sorts of dangerous stunts and explored everything they could find. And then one day they just didn't come back. We don't know what happened or where Feldspar went or even whether they're still alive. It's been a long time since I left. Take care. <clears throat> 
I was just about to find you. Look, you gotta see this. The Nomai statue's eyes are open. They uh, used to be closed. Probably should have started with that. No, I know. Now they're open. We're not sure why they opened since no one actually saw it happen, but this is huge news. Should someone tell Gabro or maybe Ryback? Oh, stars, this is so exciting. It's making my stomach hurt. Oh my God, standing is wild right now. I feel like a different person. I'm doing squats. Can I interact with you? I guess not. Uh, two up to the top. Wait, that person I was just talking to was this guy, huh? Can I mess with his machines? Have I read these? Oh, I'm down now. I'm going down. Never mind. <laughs> about this? Can I read that yet? No. Do I... I'm trying to figure out... Do I want to... Um... <laughs> Do I want to... <laughs> take off or do I want to explore here that's my that's my question to myself like what do I need to learn <laughs> do I just want to go Who else do I need to speak to? You know? Well. I kind of want to learn how to pilot my ship. I want to know how to do it. Let's go. How do I go somewhere? Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Flight practice. All right, Giant Steve, I'm coming back. How do I lock it? Lock on. There we go. Lift off! There's a there's an autopilot, but I don't understand how to do things. So I feel like maybe I should just holy shit. I can go to the sun. So hold match velocity. Does that just mean you stop moving? It, but you're still kind of moving because that's how space works. Equip scout launcher. What's that? Launch scout. Take a snapshot. Retrieve scout. I don't know why I'm doing that. Why am I going away? I want to get closer to it. getting further. Oh, I'm not. I'm afraid I don't know how to land. <gasps> oh, I want to land. I don't know how. It's leaving. Go. I don't get it. <laughs> Accelerating to destination. I didn't know how to accelerate. I don't understand the controls. <laughs> Firing retro rockets. And 
don't understand. Landing mode. How do I land softly? my god, how am I supposed to not do this? I don't understand. How about- that looks like nothing. I'm gonna keep going. I wanna go here. How do I land there? Oh! I missed. I landed in somewhere that was really full of things. That's my bad. Okay, I changed my mind. Let's go land on this piece of land. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Avoid cyclones. I want to land there. What's this? Whoa, softly! I did it. <laughs> Everything's damaged, but I made it. Whoa. Wait, can I not get out? I landed. Did I not land? How do I get out of this? Unbuckle. I landed. Okay, a suit up, pre freight checklist. Jetpack auto boost. Jetpack boost can be triggered with a separate button or any time upward thrust is used. Freeze time when translating text. What is this? Freeze time while talking. <laughs> How does land? I'm The ship is mostly alive. It's on flat ground, sort of. Um, uh, auto... This is okay. All right, open hatch. Where am I? Wow, rude. Excuse me. That's not what I said. <gasps> My ship is gone. <laughs> I'm never gonna survive on this planet. <laughs> I'm never gonna make it to that planet. <laughs> Maybe I should try an easier planet. The cyclones keep killing me. <laughs> I don't know how to tie it down. It's a troll planet. Fuck that planet. It sucks. Why does that guy want to live here? He's dumb. <laughs> You know this ship is a death trap, right? Well, yeah, but a really powerful death trap. What, you suddenly care about safety now? <laughs> I was on the fire, yeah. <laughs> You're lucky I'm in a time leap because otherwise I'd be super dead. You're lucky I don't have you grounded for medical reasons because I have no idea what you are talking about. Wow. Um, let me go... Oh. Wait. Okay. Let's try this again. What happens when you die? When you die? When you die? I don't know. <laughs> Good question. <clears throat> spices in there. I 
I like once in a while will start <clears throat> feeling it suddenly in my throat. Oh god. Okay, buckle up. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go to a different place now. We're gonna go to Brittle Hollow instead. I can't Brittle Hollow, please. How about um uh like this Hollow's Lantern Brittle Hollow. I wanna go here. Um, okay. That sounds safer. Let's go there. <laughs> I think it will not stay gone. It can't be worse than Giant's Deep. I don't know. I'll do Giant's Deep ten more times if it means no pickles. I'm trying to remember how to move faster. I don't actually get it. Other than engaging autopilot. That's the only thing I can think of. I'll just do that. I don't know how- I don't understand how to fly in space. It just takes so long. And I have no, uh... I have no gauge on, like, depth perception. This is too hard. I'll just try to learn how to land. <laughs> Um, I would like landing mode, please. I guess this is probably better. Down. I'm trying to land a little nicely. Am I landed? Has I have I landed or is there a specific place I need to be landing? Because I'm on the ground. Did I land? I kind of landed. Did I? Why am I still moving? My ship keeps doing things. Am I done? I don't know. Oops. I'm gonna just say I'm done. <laughs> I face planted. Nah, that's no. I'm the, my ship is on the ground. Look at that. I landed my ship. <laughs> uh oh. Where am I going? <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> I landed. Don't they as land? But what if it like? Whoa. Whoa. That's crazy. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Uh oh. I thought that was my ship. I got scared. Wait, I want to know where the explosion happened. Okay. Take me up there. What is it that I'm here to do? I know that we said I came here with, uh, with, like, some starter info in mind. I'll just go around the planet. I'll, I'm sure I'll find something. Explosion. It's very far away from where I could get refueling, though. So, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Oh, shit. Trees detected. Oxygen refilled. Yay. Nice. So, that's how I can get a refill. Oh, that looks like the scary ghost rocks that I can't be touching. Ooh. 
Ooh, read. The journey here from the South Pole has been, um, I'm going to go with the harrowing because of the uh, meteors. But hey, at least I made here for unconcussed and not on fire. Me too! Okay, let's see. I poked around a little and there's some sort of old gnome my path that starts around across from my campsite inside the ruined building with trees growing out of it. Ooh. Inside the ruined building. Okay. Doesn't look like anything horrible, just stairs leading down. I can handle stairs. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, the pickles. It's the pickles. After I get my supplies together, I'll follow the path and see where it leads. Okay. I feel like I cannot go there. Um, is this the place with the tree growing out of it? With stairs? I can't tell. It's so dark. When is it day? When will it be day? Bye! Where's the stairs? <laughs> oh yeah, I have a flashlight, you're right. <laughs> this is the tree growing out of the building. Where are those stairs at? I was promised stairs and I have seen zero stairs. E excuse me. Now I'm walking on walls. What? He said the one with the tree growing out of it. Across his campsite. I didn't mean to go that far. Um, zoom view, I cannot. Uh, yeah, if I just like... God, it is dangerous. I don't see anything. Stairs! Wait, wasn't this not here before? Whatever, I made it. It's fine. First try! <laughs> oh my god. God. What? I tried to make a softer landing and it didn't happen for me. What's this then? Well, that was deeply unpleasant. I made it this far though. Guess that's the path to part to focus on and not how I'll eventually have to get back up that path. But wow, this place sure is something. It looks like the hanging city is north from here and east is a gravity canyon. I definitely want to see that. Another thing, I'm detecting oxygen from somewhere below, which is good since I uh, used up a lot of my supplies screaming during the trip from down, down from the service. As soon as I stop dry heaving, I'm going to head farther down below so I can refill my tank. Okay, good to know. I need to figure out how to get down there. Ooh. Hanging city. I hear music. directly below my ass. How do I get down there without dying? Without dying, 
How do I get down there? Identified signal, yes, yes. Oh, there's the gravity thingy, so in theory, I can walk. Okay, can I walk on this one? Okay, and then walk on this one. Here. I am afraid. <gasps> I found it! Yay! Oxygen tank refilled! I found you! Oh my god! <laughs> Hi, Nub. I'm enjoying it. I'm st I'm trying to figure out anything, but I whenever I discover something, I feel like I've done it. Uh, you lunch. It's great. Good job, you. Wow, I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. Lots of history here. It's great. What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in this solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only... You've probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell. I tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere my little scout says is halfway stable instead of being sucked into uh, what's below. I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout, and this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity, so I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? <laughs> That'd be... Yeah. I learned something! Cool, what is it? Forget it. <laughs> oh, okay. If you do find, find learn something new about the Nomai, though, I'd love to hear it. Um, if you don't mind, I mean. Where should I explore? Oh, wow. Where shouldn't you explore here? Uh, not the black hole, actually. That's very no. Which is unfortunate because uh, the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the Hanging City. That's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There's also this big dome on the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface. Trust me, I tried, but if it's like the rest of the Nomai structures here, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Good luck with exploring. Um, if you learn anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it, but if it's not too much trouble. What are you doing out here? Hi, Pika P. I'm feeling good. I, I, I ate a lot of stuff though today. Um, that was not my choice. <laughs> so, I'm awake, but my body is like, yo, what's up? Me, I'm an archaeologist, remember? Or I'm the archaeologist, I guess, seeing as I'm all timber hurt scar right now. Brittle Hollow is rich with Nomai history. That's why I'm here. This planet is an absolute treasure trove of culture, history, and science. If you have any questions about the Brittle Hollow Nomai, I'm your Herthian. Or, uh, I have some knowledge of them, I mean, so maybe I can help. Yay! Ship log updated. Unidentified signal. I found him! Refueled jetpack. Oh my god, what a revelation. So, okay, if I were to go somewhere... I can't, like, see the map closer, even though it asked me. Sprinkle, thank you for redeeming Hydrate. I'm actually gonna drink more of this coffee that is cold now, but probably still delicious. The sub cow, yeah, it's wild. We're actually at 4.15. Um, I said, if we get five more subs and hit 4.20 subs, <clears throat> I'm gonna drink this pickle juice. <coughs> Already coughing.
Yeah, 420. Get the green at 420. And by that I mean the pickle juice. We did overflow the sub counter. I can't believe we've like gotten so many subs. I th again, I thought we were gonna get like maybe 50 tops. I honestly can't believe it. That is fact, that is true. <laughs> I didn't think we would actually get to continue streaming today because I didn't think our counter would get us that far. <laughs> but here we are. Unidentified signal. Plus my subs need me. Oh my god, no, thank you for giving a sub. Oh yay, Reese got a sub. Yay, is the pickle juice warm? I mean, it's been sitting out. We've been working on this pickle for like the past hour or so. I don't know. I think all pickle juice is gross. I don't care where it's from or what the temperature is. It's bad. <laughs> uh, I underestimate your, underestimate your power. I... Not that I underestimated your power, but I underestimated everything else. <laughs> Untranslated. I... Translate. The Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Excuse me? What is that? Whoa, what is that? <gasps> Shut up. Can I just walk in there? Or am I gonna die? Only one way to find out. Oh, it's going, it's pushing me the other way. So if I were to move this. Whoa. Whoa! Take me away! Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> it's easier to stomach if it's cold. Okay, I'll put it. Here, no. I'll do this. I'll go put it in the fridge just in case we have get four more subs. I actually need to put away some of this stuff. It's gross here. Um, wait, let me take one bite of this pizza and then Oh my god. Oh my god! I need oxygen now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Translate. Too close. Untranslated. Translate. Be welcomed into this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Um... Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> How do I get across? Nope. Nope. I don't know how to get across. I can't just walk. Oh, yay. I can, but I do this. Why did that hurt my suit so bad? <laughs> We're in Doctor Who Time Warp. That picture is stuffed. You got empanadas. Oh, there's a longanisa one. Oh, amazing. Uh, anti gravity. Where can we? Where can we? Hmm. This will. This is facing the wrong direction. So, if we put it here, we can move. 
I don't know if this just takes us back, but only one way to find out. Let's see. This might just bring us back to where I was right before this. Or it's a new area. I Where am I looking at? <laughs> Ooh. Enter to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge below. Southern Observatory. My oxygen levels are depleting. I hope I find a tree, otherwise I'm dead. Hey, bud. <gasps> Trees detected! Oxygen tank refilled! It's like they heard me. Beneath your feet lies... Okay. Yo, where am I? Whoa, what is this? Uh, take snapshot. That's not helpful. Rotate camera. Whoa! Whoa! I got yeeted into space! That's not helpful at all. Well, I was told not to go into the black hole. Here I am. Here I am. What happens if I land on it? Do I go home or do I burn and die? Surface integrity zero. Um, well, I don't know what to do <laughs> or how to move. It says, Roll L1 hold and R, which is what I'm doing, and nothing is changing. So I don't know what they're telling me. I don't know how to move. What the fuck? <laughs> Scout? Roll. I'm holding it. Is it working? Get me closer. Get me closer. Oh my god. Where are you going? That's not where I'm saying you to go. How do I play this game? <laughs> I could not figure out how to move my body. That's me every time I'm in space. I don't know how I'm supposed to learn how to move. <laughs> I was yeeted. The confusion is that everything else is moving. Yeah, that's true. <gasps> and I don't know how to lock onto stuff or because there's no like map system. I mean, I guess this is the point. I'm not like trying to knock anything because clearly this is all part of it. Um, but that, the fact that I don't have like any idea of how to do things <laughs> makes it really difficult. But I know the point is that you learn it. But once we get somewhere, like moving around the planet was really cool. And like finding stuff felt so good. But it's hard because out of nowhere, without me knowing what's happening, I'm just dead. And I'm like, what? I was in the middle of exploring. So, I understand that's how space physics works. But it's frustrating! I just want to explore! And I feel like I can't. 
Where's Buds? He just asked to go outside, so he was hanging out by the door, so. I've just let him out. Okay. I want to go back there, though, because now I feel like I kind of understand the mechanic. Sort of. And then I died. Yeah, the IQ was the closest IQ to me growing up. Because there isn't one in San Jose or San Francisco. So you have to go to Emeryville. <laughs> Oops. Um, the map, I want to go to where I was. I want to go to Brittle Hollow. Please. I would like to go to there. How do I do it? There, lock on. Uh, lift off! It is a hollow plant with black coal at the center and a volcanic moon. <laughs> yeah. Planets. What are you going to do about them? You know what I mean? Can't live with them. Can't live without them. <laughs> like, am I moving towards it? It says I'm getting closer. Or, my speed is slower, but the kilometers is getting closer. So I guess I'm going closer, but I can't tell at all. It doesn't look like I am. Did I pay for the vet bill? For the most part, I still have a few payments. I still have some payments on it, but the worst of it is, is past, yeah. I'm basically paying like a few hundred dollars a month to pay off the vet bill, but I should be done um, April, May, something like that. It's a never ending battle. <laughs> There's a Palo Alto Ikea now? Oh, really? Well, but the Emeryville one is easier to park in, no? And then the mall right there. I actually, so when we went, I had to take a stop at Sephora and I wanted to go to Barnes & Noble and then my sister wanted to go to Unique Glow. And literally all three of those stores are right next to each other at the mall. So we were like, oh, great. <laughs> so, yeah. I feel like it's easier to park there. And don't charge for parking, I think, or do they? I feel like they don't. I imagine Palo Alto would. <laughs> Just based on, like, the fact that it's Palo Alto. Um, I'm gonna do autopilot, because I don't know how to land on these planets once you get close. Mm. Arrows to aim yourself, like leading your shot. Arrows? Oh, like those around the circle? Dotted lines coming off for the directions you want to be going to hit the target. If there are no dotted lines, you're on a course. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's why we autopilot. I have to land, don't I? <laughs> they made me pay. Well, I put everything on a credit card. <laughs> and I paid off almost everything, but I have care credit, which is basically like. Wait, don't I want to land on the planet? I want to land on the planet. Care credit is basically like you have... Oh my god, I don't want to go into the black hole. I don't want to go in. It's basically like you have... I think it's 2,000, 2,500, something like that is the max you can put on there, but it's specifically for health. Oh my god, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into the black hole immediately. Um, but it's for health specifically, and uh, you can pay no interest on it if you use it. So that's the last thing I have, payment-wise, is to finish that. But the the bulk of the cost, because I had a fifteen thousand dollar total, so now I have like one thousand. <laughs> 
paid over five months, so it's gonna it'll be all right. I don't know how to leave. I don't know how to get out of this. It keeps turning me. Where am I? Where am I? I'm. This is so annoying to me. I'm sure. I think this game is great, except this part. I hate this. I don't know what to do. What is up? I need to know because I'm using thrusters. Is there a cockpit view? And my ship is damaged because of a reason. Because I didn't. Where am I going? Where am I? Oh my fucking god. I want to go up. Bitch, I just said I wanted to go up. Okay. What's this then? Oh, this is where I landed before. Oh shit. I hate this so much. I wish there was an auto this so I can explore and not do this part ever. Take me here, take me here, take me here, take me here, take me here. Land gently. You know what, I'm parked. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> uh, space is cool and all, but I didn't ask to go into space. <laughs> I have an expensive cat, yep, that's how medical bills work. That's how emergency works. Well, I guess I'm dead. I didn't do anything, but I guess I'm dead now. <laughs> uh, what the fuck am I doing? I'm in space? Anyway. I don't even know how I got there. How did I fall into the black hole? I'll never know. Can you take me there, please? Where do I go? Switching from landing cam. Everything is the worst. Okay. You can never get a hold of the controls. Uh, autopilot, take me to that place. I'm gonna eat pizza. My ship is damaged. I can't do anything about that. Am I even moving? Doesn't look like it. I guess I am. No, look what's coming at me right now. Are you serious? Can I just have, can I just play the game please? Now how does one land? Landing mode. I landed, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Hi, hey, save data. Zach, is that you? How you doing? This is my first time playing, and I'm trying to figure out how to play. <laughs> I like can't get a I can't get a hang of um 
<laughs> of staying where I'm good, <laughs> of what's up and down. That's how you land the whole time, just like, boop. <laughs> Recommendations for empanada fillings. Am I being... I should probably... Hold on. Let me let me try to get to a place with oxygen, and then I can... <laughs> then I can communicate with chat. Um, I'm trying to find... Where was I before I died? The explosion. We gotta go where the meteors are crashing. And... Whoa! What is that light? Do I know that? Do oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> what is that? I don't think I've seen that before. <gasps> ah! Oh my oxygen! Where am I? I was not here before. <laughs> um empanada fillings, uh potato. <laughs> Anytime you wanna Put a uh, savory thing in a pastry. Potato. And also sweet potato. <laughs> I think it was good enough for me. It takes a while to get used to it. That's what I hear. That's what everyone's saying is that this game is the best. But I need to figure out how to do stuff. But that's the point, right? Is that you're supposed to try to figure it out by doing, not by being told. Is everyone unharmed? Not me. I feel personally victimized by the controls of flying my ship. <laughs> no one was badly injured in the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news, at least. Have we heard from escape pod 2 or escape pod 3? No, I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods' distress signals, however. If it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude. If we can... Thatch, the moon is approaching again! This is really... They're living the experience I've been living the past three deaths. <laughs> Everyone brace yourselves swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. I've noticed. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down the cliff. Perhaps we could build platforms? Platforms, you say? You're saying that like as this is a platformer, a space platformer. Can you give a non-spoiler camp mechanics? Absolutely. Absolutely you can. Um, it's a show, not tell tutorial. Yeah, which I love. I really do appreciate that. Um, I just need to learn. That's the thing, right? <clears throat> um, if I fall, will I die? <laughs> Can I just get into the ship? <gasps> oh, no, you're going too far. Oh, my God. Whoa. Did you play, um... Oh, my God. What is that game called where you're on a spaceship and you are reliving every memory through, like, the hollow recordings and stuff? Of, like, what happened to everyone on your ship. What's that game called? Escape pod one. Vessel has been mortally injured. No. Emergency sequence activated. Awaiting departure from vessel. I have a tool that will help identify signals. I do? I only know this. I guess that's what this is for. So far, it's I've only been able to figure out... Um music and the hide and seek game but there's more things i can do with this um veggie absence are potato get those potatoes in your pastry launching escape pod three launching escape pod two launching escape pod one okay whoa 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 Emergency escape hatch. Unidentified signal nearby. So if I do this when it's set to Outer Wilds Ventures, is that the way to figure that out? <gasps> oh. Wait, that's a different person than who I saw earlier, right? 
I forget what instrument the guy I met earlier was playing. Oh my god. Oh, what's happened to me? Uh, it's because I'm using my jetpack indoors. Emergency escape. Let me out. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Put that away. I want to get out of here. Put that I can't get out. <laughs> oh my god. Let me out. I want to translate it. I want to use it. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in here. I can't leave, but I can't jump high enough to get out of here. Oh, that's it. Get up there. Let me free. Oh my god. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. <laughs> okay. Everything's fine. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. There was an unidentified signal. Uh, there. How do I, like, lock onto it? Can I not? Then how will I know where, what to do? Well, I think I need my ship to get to this moon. Sun? <laughs> so let me think about that. Let me think about that. But I also have where I was trying to explore before and then I was deceased is Oh my god, I need oxygen and stuff too. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I might be too far to where I was before. Alright, well, if my oxygen levels are low, I should just go back up there to get some more. Unidentified signal! What? Okay, all right, I've got a mission. Whoa, 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 Um, now what? Now I wanna go to unidentified. <laughs> I don't know. I thought the oxygen was over here. I guess not. I guess it's not. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Give me oxygen. Give it to me. Okay. Right? Give me... I thought there was oxygen in here. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There was another... There was another hole. Hello? Where am I? <laughs> Where am I? Oh no! I'm going to be dead very soon. <laughs> I need oxygen. Isn't there oxygen in here? Or am I wrong? I might be wrong. This is just where I was before, but I need air. I don't think there's any in here. Oh no, I thought there was. Well, that was fun. I'm gonna be dead. <laughs> Wait, there's trees right there. There's trees right there. I'm gonna run out of jetpack, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Okay, I've got oxygen. Now I just need to never use my jetpack. Um, okay, identified, unidentified signal. Um, it was... This? Escape pod? Distress beacon. I don't know what to do about that. Now that I know, oxygen's overrated. This is going well. <laughs> Everything is going super smooth. I mean, it's cool that I figured that out, but I already looked at this escape pod. 
Um, there's obviously something on the sun thingy. But... I was specifically... Looking for... Oh my god. That was really scary. Oh my god. I think that's where I have to go, but it's too far. I might not make it. And by might, I mean I most definitely will not make it. Holy shit. Well, bye. <laughs> I, you know what? It wasn't going to happen for me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Life comes at you fast, let me tell you. I didn't die to fall damage, you're right. See, progress. We don't need oxygen. <laughs> Wait, before we do anything else, I want to look at um, the observatory. See if there's any new information. No, you're not going to tell me anything new. You're just going to be like, fly better. And I'm going to be like, I'm trying, girl. I'm trying. Okay. doing what's with the radio we wanted to play hide and seek but moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that can we use your signal scope can we we'll even let you be it i already played with you not that you know that but i did <laughs> oh no 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 it's like a death loop. Who knew? Who knew? I actually didn't. I actually didn't know until I died. Like, although, for those of you who weren't here when I first started playing it today, I died before there was a death loop. So, I got end credits already. <laughs> um, it was fine. <laughs> So I beat the game today. I don't know if you know that. It's pretty impressive if I do say so myself. Um, well, it looks like this is the same as before. I just wanted to see if they were gonna be like, whoa, the eyes. <laughs> Died in the tutorial. Typical Kristen. <laughs> Oh well. I didn't mean to click on that. Okay. The sun is up. Time to die. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go do that. <laughs> Alrighty. This is this game is simultaneously very chill and very not chill. You know what I'm saying? Oh, here, let me just launch and then I'll um, eat pizza while we're autopiloting. The music is great. Yeah, until you get burnt alive by the sun while you were minding your own business talking in the middle of a conversation and then burnt to a crisp. <laughs> Bye, Manji, have a good night. Thank you again. Thank you for being here for the subathon and for all your support. I really appreciate it. Um, 
Yeah. Oh my God. We got we got an hour and a half left. I think we're crushing it. We are crushing it. Um, we're flying. We're flying. Okay. Where do I want to go? Where do I want to go? <sighs> the thing is, I really do like this area, and I really wanted to explore that, but then I keep getting yeeted in the, into space. Getting burnt alive is one of the, the track is one of the best in the game. You know, if you're right, you're right. Who am I to argue that? Okay, I'm gonna try this again, but I would really, really like to go to the specific place I'm thinking in my brain. Okay, where that guy was, I or that I forget who they were actually. I just what was their job? Uh. I don't remember. Anyway, I want to find that person. Because <clears throat> that's where I was exploring before I died. <coughs> hey, streamers. <clears throat> if you ever decide to stream for 24 hours with only a nap in between, let me tell you, you're going to be talking a lot. <laughs> and eventually, when you hit 20, 22 and a half hours, your voice does these things where you can't speak anymore and you have to drink a lot of water. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? Okay. <laughs> hey, that's my location! That's where I'm trying to go! Let's go! 22.5 <laughs> hours, one pickle, a fifth of a massive onion, like 15 plus spicy chips. We've done a lot. We've done a lot. And yet, so little. <laughs> Rockets? What am I firing rockets for? Excuse me? Where am I going? I said autopilot. Where are they taking me? <laughs> Undershot? What do you mean? Oh. Wow, what a lifespan I've lived. <laughs> I was facing backwards. Oh. <laughs> How do you know? How can I tell? 